Hi, this message is for Leo for October 2020. I did a pre-shuffle. This is your message for love, Leo. Let's see what the situation is. Queen of Pentacles. So overall energy is good, nurturing, uh, maybe not terribly exciting, but definitely this warm domestic feeling. Let's see where your partner's at. They have the Five of Swords. And you are the Four of Cups. So, despite this feeling of domesticity, I think that your partner is fighting to kind of, um, I feel like your partner is like jealous. Like they kind of get jealous for no reason. Uh, I think things are things are overall pretty good. Like the, the practical situation, like the actual reality every day is really good. Or, you know, this connection between the two of you is really good. But the issue is your partner is jealous and like somewhat like, and doesn't really need to be. And not necessarily jealous of you being with another person, but like you just might be, you know, you're a Leo, right? So like all our eyes are on you a lot of the time. You're kind of like, you could just be like this really friendly person. You're really outgoing. So like people kind of flirt with you a lot or something of that nature. But you know, you're in this, you're like, you know, you're absolutely not paying attention to anybody else. You're really happy with your partner, but they are feeling, they do have feelings of jealousy and that might be disrupting, you know, the otherwise happy experience that you're having in October. Let's see what your desires are, Leo. You have the Knight of Swords as your desires. So yeah, you are definitely all about this person. You are like ready to make uh, some really huge gestures, uh, really so a commitment, you know, whether it be just like to be in a relationship with this person or, you know, you, you really, or you're, you want to do some really grand gesture for them. I don't necessarily think that like, it's like an offer per se, like it's like an offer commitment. It's like, you want to give them some grand gesture to uh, like, you may kind of feel this jealousy on their part, but it's, I don't feel as though you're angry about it necessarily. I think I feel as though you want to show them how much they mean to you. And that's why you're going to come in with some grand gesture. That's kind of what, like what you're thinking about right now. And your partner's desire is the Nine of Swords. Okay, so it came out in a desire position, but I feel as though it's like just, they they are just walking on eggshells. Like they just don't want the other shoe to drop. Like, and they, they know that you're trustworthy and they want to kind of get out of this feeling of jealousy because they know that in this case it's not necessarily warranted i feel like they might have some baggage from a past relationship and uh they really want to get out of this energy and but i feel as though you're being like really cool about this because you are going to you are trying to come up with some grand gesture because you want to pull them out of this as well and, like i they they're feeling guilty over the way they're kind of acting you know i think it, when they gel like jealousy might like overcome them and they might come out with comments but then they feel really guilty about it and they they want to get out of that and you want them to get out of that too but like i feel like you're you're being really cool about it leo all right let's see what your challenges are the chariot so you're having like whatever this plan is i feel as though you're you're having trouble kind of making it come to fruition like you really want to go for it uh you, like you have a certain idea and you're like you have a certain idea but like you can't quite pull it off just yet or you know you're having you're having trouble making this come to fruition let's see what your partner's challenges are besides the jealousy they have the page of swords in reverse Ooh, so they might be like looking in your phone they might be reading your facebook messages or you know whatever and again though i feel like you're being cool about it like and you might even like catch them doing it whatever and you're like all right well you know it's like i don't have anything to hide but i just i don't know why you need to do this so they are they are trying to resist doing that because they kind of like they know it's a violation of your privacy they know that it's unwarranted but they you know like i said they might be used to doing this from a previous relationship you know if this is a new person we're talking about you do want to move forward with this person but but 
their jealousy is kind of getting in the way. I mean, so far on your end though, I don't feel like it's getting in the way to the point where you don't want to move forward with this person. Let's see what your outcome is, Leo. The moon. You, um, and you have to be careful of like whatever this gesture is. I feel like it's, it's overall positive and you want to go forward with it, but you're, you're being like, you know, you kind of want everything to be perfect and really grand. You're a Leo, right? Like you're, I want it to be really grand. Like if this big idea and you have to be careful of not going forward with it because it's not, uh, coming together quite the way you plan. So like it might end in you not doing it all by the end of October, but I do feel as though it's going to kind of help bring your partner out of this nine of swords energy. Let's see what the uh, outcome is for your partner. Yeah, nine of cups, wish fulfillment. Okay, so if you, if you come, whether or not you come forward with this grand gesture, I do think they're, I do feel as though they're going to continue to move towards kind of getting out of this jealous headspace. I do feel as though you two will come together. Uh, perhaps by the end of the month, you know, you might be a little, like, I think you're cool about it, you're cool about it, you're cool about it. But then like after so long, by the end of the month, like you're just, you're kind of exhausted and like you might not have the energy to put forth that grand gesture. So I think I would be careful about if there's like something you want to do that you feel will help the situation. Like just go for it, just do it. Like don't, don't, it, it doesn't have to be like, so don't over plan it to the point where, you know, you just become exhausted by the whole situation. Let's look for a little bit more clarification from the return of Spirit Oracle deck for Leo for October, 2020 power. Yeah. So I, I feel as though this is all about like power dynamics and your person um, feels like they need to be in control because in the past when they weren't in control of the situation, it ended badly for them. And uh, you're going to have to be careful about the, the power shift here because you don't want to give up all your power. You know, you don't necessarily want them. And, you know, and again, if they're like looking at your Facebook messages, your text messages, whatever, you might be having trouble, whatever planning whatever this is that you want to do for this person I mean and that could be something that you bring up with them too be like look you can't be looking at my text messages because you know what if I mean that's like you know I don't know how often are you going to be planning these big surprises I don't know you might be planning them a lot but that could be that could be something that you say but I do feel as though they do want to get out of this energy and they're going to and they're going to work towards that regardless and uh, a lot of this is it has to do with like control issues on their end because of what are they what they dealt with in the past. I think you're I feel like you're going to be really understanding about this, but it will it will get exhausting for you at a certain point. Uh, whether you know whether or not this is you know they got wish fulfillment, but I do feel as though you're exhausted by the end of the month. So it it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Um, moving forward as October ends, but please let me know how this, if this resonates and you know, how it applies to your situation. I'd love to know, comment down below and thanks for listening. Bye.